Uh, on behalf of Mayor Bass, uh, the Board of Airport Commissioners, and the more than 3,000 LAWA team members, I'm honored to lead. Thank you for joining us today. As you can see behind me, I'm standing in front of one of our aircraft rescue and firefighting vehicles, ARF vehicles. It's the very type of equipment uh, at the heart of the project we're here to discuss. This project will benefit generations of Angelinos for decades to come, and it also protects the firefighters and first responders who protect us today. We're here to mark a crucial milestone in our ongoing commitment to environmental stewardship and the safety of our firefighters, employees, and the millions of passengers who travel through our airports each year. Today, we're proud to announce that Los Angeles World Airports is leading the way in California by transitioning our entire fleet of ARF vehicles to PFAS-free foam. This initiative covers 14 vehicles across LAX and Van Nuys Airport, making it one of the largest such transitions in the United States. Our approach goes beyond mere compliance. It's all right to clap for that. It's all right. It's all right. It's the sound of commerce, jobs, business, and growth. So it's definitely all right to clap for that. Uh, so look, our approach goes beyond mere compliance with regulations. We're utilizing an innovative cleaning process that reduces PFAS levels in our ARF vehicles by over 99%, significantly reducing potential exposure to, for our firefighters. Our firefighters spend countless hours in and around these machines, training every day so they can better protect us. I've been an aviator for more than 30 years, both military and civilian, and I've witnessed firsthand the personal courage and sacrifice of firefighters when the very worst happens. I'm so glad that our team, LAWA, and that includes Chief Crowley, is leading the nation to do what we can to protect those who protect us. This project is also a testament to the power of collaboration. We partnered with LAFD and with innovative companies like TRS and local partner Ocean Blue Environmental. Together, we're not just solving a problem, we're showcasing a solution that can help, that can be adopted by airports across the country and help firefighters across the country. Our commitment to sustainability extends far beyond this project. At LAWA, we've decreased energy usage per passenger at LAX by 26% since 2011. We've achieved LEED Gold certification for three new facilities and expanded solar generation at Van Nuys to almost 8,000 megawatt hours of power. We've implemented comprehensive water conservation programs that have reduced potable water usage per passenger by 12% compared to 2022. In closing, I want to express my gratitude to our dedicated employees, our firefighters and first responders, and our agency partners for their support in this crucial initiative. Many of you have seen challenge coins, and I want to share a little bit about this coin. It was given to me by Chief Dan White, the fire chief at DFW Airport. I had the honor and privilege to work closely with Chief White and with all of DFW Fire. I learned a lot about fire, but I learned even more about leadership. Chief White's coin says simply, Leadership is action, not position. And I'm proud that LAWA and LAFD have taken this decisive action to support our firefighters, that we have led with intention, and I hope that other reports will follow. Thank you. And I have the honor of introducing uh, my new friend, uh, Chief Crowley. All right, thank you. All right, well, good morning, everybody. I need to start, bring my crew up. Come on, come on, our members from the LAFD, I can't have you standing in the back. So come on up. So if you guys don't mind uh, standing, not behind me, but with me, just stand with me. You're not standing behind me, you're with me here. Um, I wanna start with just um, some brief comments. Um, thank you so much to LAWA and to your leadership, John, um, to being the first. and. This is what it's absolutely all about. It's about taking care of our first responders, like you said. By you taking swift action and wanting to be the first and just taking this on, and here we are and it's getting done. Removing AFFF from our resources in the end will help our members stay safe and to have a long, tenured, beautiful career with the LEFD, and even more important is a long career after when they retire. So thank you for your leadership, uh, and I cannot wait to see where we're gonna take this. Um, and it is all about taking care of our first responders so that they can take care of the airports, 
they can take care of the travelers and the visitors. And in the end, I can assure you, these members here, along with the members from Fire Station 80, Fire Station 51, Fire Station 5, Fire Station 95, that take care of the airport here, they are the best of the best. And I'm so proud to stand with you guys. I know you don't like to get the accolades, but they are here and they do a tremendous job each and every day to provide incredible services to the people here in Lawa. So with that, um, thank you for what you do. I'm extremely proud of the LEFD as a whole and the members that provide service here. And by the way, I just have to have a shout out to TRS, one of the members from the organization just gave our members a huge compliment. And that was by saying they've never seen apparatus either this old or apparatus that's behind me that has been taken care of to this level. And that is the professionalism and the dedication of our people that come to work each and every day. So I'm extremely proud of our people, but thank you so much to John and your team. I like the Team LAWA, Team LAFD. We'll have to mishmash that together. Uh, but our relationship and our partnership to get our people what they need and to keep them safe is, I know, John, for you and me, is going to continue to be a priority. So with that, I'm extremely proud to be here and represent our amazing people, and thank you to the members that are here. So thanks, everybody. Take care. Thanks, Chief Crowley. And likewise, I'd like to have my TRS team come up. Can you guys come up? I'm going to talk a little bit about what we do, but these are the guys that really make it happen and, and really get the, the vehicles clean. So I'm excited to be here. I, I like what Law is doing, LA is doing. I think it's a substantial move in the right direction. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our technology, the perfluoride process today, but I'm going to keep it simple. Uh, the key is this AFFF foam has PFAS in it. They're known as forever chemicals, and they're called forever chemicals because they're toxic to human health and environment, and they can last forever. So they're significant, it's a real problem. And so fortunately, there are some new firefighting foams coming out, they're gonna be put in these vehicles. And what our focus is, is to get them as clean as possible so there's the least probability of ever impacting human health or in the environment when the, flu when the fluids, if they have to be used again, to treat a fire. So uh, the first thing about the old foam is we drain it from the vehicles. These guys are going to demonstrate this process, but I'm kind of giving the overview. Then we take our perfluorad and we mix it with water. And essentially what we do is we put it into the vehicle and we circulate it. So I'm going to try to keep this really simple. It's like a washing machine. Essentially, we're washing the PFAS compounds out. One of the beauties of the perfluoride chemical is like a suction cup, and it wants to attach to the PFAS compounds. It ties them up, we circulate it through the vehicle, and then we pull that out of the vehicle. Now essentially we've removed 99.9% .9 or more of all the PFAS that's left in that vehicle. We've got it extremely clean. So that, that's a key first step to the process. But there's really a second thing that happens and that is with this technology, So with this technology, what we do is we put it in a settling tank, and these guys are going to demonstrate how we do that. And what happens is the PFAS settles out to the bottom of the tank, and the perfluoride takes the PFAS with it, and now we've concentrated it. That's important because now we're substantially reducing the amount of waste that's generated in this process. So we've concentrated it down to a sludge that then can be disposed of and managed appropriately, but it's been greatly minimized, so that minimizes the overall long-term impact on the environment. So I know it's a lot of technical talk, but I can just I can sum it into two things and make it really simple. One, the PFAS is really powerful like a suction cup and attaches to the PFAS. That's how we get it so clean. And two, it settles and concentrates, so we minimize that waste, and now you got clean vehicles that are safe for use at the airport. So we're, we're thrilled to be a part of this whole process. You know, these guys are the ones that do the hard work, and they're going to do you, give you the demo and tell you how it really happens in the real world when we get a chance to go over the demonstration. So thank you very much. <laughs>